Now, notice there are three things that they quote from Scripture from the Old Testament that they say. The first one is Hosanna. Let me ask you this morning, does anybody know or does anybody want to guess what does Hosanna mean? We say it on Palm Sunday in particular. Hosanna is a Greek word that means save us. And particularly, there's an urgency to us. It's an imperative. It means save us now. And so, friends, these followers of Jesus who are lined up on the road, they recognize that they are a sinner in need of a Savior, and so what are they doing? They are identifying Jesus as their Savior. Hosanna, Lord Jesus, save us. Now, notice the second thing that they say there. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Let me also ask you this morning, what does it mean for somebody to come in the name of somebody else? We don't really use that phrase in our modern language today, but think about it like this. Let's say, for example... Not that you would ever do this, I know you all are law-abiding citizens, but let's say, for example, that you decided last year not to pay your taxes. Not like you forgot to pay your taxes, you decided, I've given the government enough of my money, I'm not paying my taxes. But then in midsummer, all of a sudden you get a knock at the door, and you open it up, and there's a man there in a suit, and he says, hi, my name is Chad, and I understand that you haven't paid your taxes. And you're saying, um, well, hi, Chad. I have no idea who you are. Why in the world are you here? Well, wait a second. How do you know that I didn't pay my taxes? Who sent you to my home? And Chad says, I've been sent by the IRS. Now, let's put it in biblical terms. I come in the name of the IRS. You see, friends, when the followers of Jesus lined up on the parade that day, when they say, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord... They are identifying that Jesus has been sent by the Lord, by the Father, and therefore, he is the Messiah that they've been waiting for. Now, finally, the last thing. Take a look. It says, blessed is the king of Israel. You know, back in that time, Pontius Pilate, he was the governor of the area. And so the people along the parade route, they needed to submit to him. But at the end of the day, Jesus was their king. You know, if you think about it, the same is true for me and you today in the United States. We have a president, we have a governor, we have a mayor, all of which we are called to submit to, but at the end of the day, Jesus is our 